hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to add date and date time field in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so in the previous video we have successfully added the appointment model and a mini to one field inside the appointment so if i click on create you can see we have successfully added a field of type many to one so now we will be discussing about how to add a date and date time field that is one field will be for booking date and another one another one field will be for appointment time something like that we will be adding a date field and date time fields in this video so first of all if you go to the sales application and if you try to create a quotation you can see here you have a date time field where we will have a calendar and we can select it from here so let me hide it so you can see if you click on here you will have you can select time from here and date so we will be adding two fields inside the hospital module and inside the newly created appointment so after the previous video i have simply changed the position of appointments so what i have done is i have added in the menu.xml i have added a main menu called appointments a main menu appointments is added so here i have created a new menu as a root as a child of the hospital main menu here i have created appointments and i have set the this appointment as child of this menu that's why the appointment has been moved here and also one thing that you have to note once you define a menu it has to be end in like multiple records like patients female patients appointments so you have to follow that criteria so appointments it is so don't forget to specify as appointments here also it should be appointments and if you go to the patients also patients female patients so don't forget this coding standard it should be n in s so if you check everywhere inside odoo you will see that standard sales orders sales team customers so you have to follow that criteria so main menu you can give it's it will be root menu rest of the things it has to be entered with s so if i upgrade you will see that change so just i'm sharing you a tip that you will improve your coding standard patients like this so we have to add date and date time field so it's pretty easy you have to go to the corresponding model appointment.py and you have to add field here so first of all booking what i what i'll do appointment time appointment and specifies as appointment time I'm just giving the field name as appointment time fields dot date time so I'm going to define a date time field so you can give fields dot date time then you have to give string uh, appointment time appointment time so simply have to add like this fields dot date time then you can give the string and if you need to add date field i'll enter it like this booking date so instead of date it will be date instead of date time i'll record it as date booking date so i'll explain the thing so what i have done is simply i have added two fields one is of date time and another one is date and you can see appointment time and booking date so i'll just remove the space and let's add this to the view so let me add it to the form view so here we have the patient field control d and i will add both the fields to the form view so i add it in the form view similarly i'll copy these fields three fields and i will add it to the tree view empty tree view and let's adjust the syntax so what we have to do is that we have to restart the service go to the ui and upgrade om hospital module 
so the module is getting upgraded now if you come back to the appointments and if you click on create you can see appointment time so you can see the calendar is coming with time and here in the booking it's only date field so the time will not be displayed from here we can choose values like march so if you need to you can see you can change the date and if you need to switch the date you can click here and if you again click on here it will show like this and you can move 1981 march date you can see this is the calendar simply you have to add fields dot date string you can string will be responsible to show here and if we come back to the date time field you will have time field here so extra i say you will have clock select time you can see if you click on here go back to date booking time click on this you can see i want to select nine and you can increment it from here 9 30 and if you need to say zero second you can see 9 30 patient you can select pineapple click on save you can see those information i have selected time and booking date suppose if you need to right now you can see it's coming in the format of let me select a recent date so let me go to 2000s 2000 what is 2020 here it is and 2022 march 18 so i'll select this so you can see it is coming like this march 18 so there might be some case where you have to change you may be think how we can change the date format so the date format of the date and date time field will be coming from the language settings so i'll keep this screen here and let me duplicate this and if i go to the settings then to the technical sorry to the translation here you have a menu called language so if i open that currently my language is english us so if i open that click on edit you can see date format and time format you can see the specified date format will be m so m is responsible for if you check here month in 0 to 0 1 to 12 so first month then day then year so you can see month day year so let's bring day you might if you need to bring the day as first control x and you can put it here day month year save so what i have done is i have changed it will be affecting everywhere in the system so i have just changed the format of day to day month year so if i refresh you can see the change right now it's 318 so after refresh it will be 18 Three. you can see that change so the format will be coming from the corresponding language user language so you can see and time format is hour m second so you can see it's 9 30 suppose if you need to show whether it is am or pm you have that option so if you check here legends supported you will have something called am or pm over here so if you read one by one where is am or pm yeah you can see percentage p from this sample i'll copy this so along with this i'll put a percentage p so along with time format i have added this am or pm save and if you refresh you will see that difference you can see am is coming so this is how a date time and date field is working in Odo. Simply you have to add fields dot date time and fields dot date, and just format can be adjusted from the corresponding language according to the legends supported over here. So you can just go through this and get idea about what all formats we can make. So and when you are adding a date field try to add date booking or booking date with a date keyword that is the standard even in the appointment time also you can add date appointment date time or something like that you can add so that's all about this video if you have any doubts suggestions or feedback don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is odomates at gmail.com so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you